guys filmora 12 just got the best update so far version 12.3.7 so with this update you get so many new features especially the ai image and new avatar presentation tools are the best mind blowing i have made separate videos on this two subjects so i will show you all the new updates and uh, briefly talk about ai image and avatar presentation so this is the interface and in the welcome screen you get avatar presentation tool once you click the add-on will be downloaded and this is the interface it will need access to your camera microphone and you can add different slides so the concept is you can create your own avatar for you know presentations so without showing your face you can put your own avatar which will track your face like your eyes your lips movement even your head movement your hands movement and you can either Either create a dedicated video of your avatar talking or you can screen record or even you can put your avatar on your existing videos maybe you are doing a how to video so simply put your avatar at the corner and make it more interesting you can also do it on PowerPoint presentations, a lot of avatars to choose from and you can change the background transition effects as well let's now talk about the next best feature called ai image so you simply put a description of an image you want to generate by ai a small girl jumping under a mango tree in a moonlit night wearing white dress and red shoes so i'm trying to generate this image it's very similar to dull e by open ai and there you go this image was generated inside your computer you get everything the white dress the moon the mango tree the red shoes so without hiring any artist you can generate your desired images inside filmora 12 itself so how cool is that you can use it for your projects your youtube videos no need to look for the images in the stock media there you go it's so beautiful and so artistic let me now go through the other features a new color correction algorithm improved color correction algorithm and expanded parameter adjustment range allowing more natural color adjustments so that's good a new color will let me show you double click the media in the color tab you get new color will so you can fine tune the color adjustments as you wish for highlights midtones and shadows next you get a sharpen tool very useful for blurry images so go to the basic tab and uh, scroll down to adjust then sharpen next you get effect mask so you can mask uh, any part of the image for applying effects for example i'm applying this uh, glitch effect so we, it applies to the whole image but i can mask any part so go to the effects tab and here you get this option for different masking tools let's select circles so maybe you can adjust the circle on the moon now as you can see the glitch effect is only applied to the moon next uh, lot intensity can be adjusted right now with this uh, new update so in the color tab if you scroll you will get the lot option where you can choose from different camera settings or movie settings and you can change the strength now you get before after view so right click here and uh, here at the bottom you get compare color before and after you get side by side split view right left or top bottom so this is how it looks so this is how you can compare next a dozen of new transition and effects are added you can now export your videos as image sequence so uh, when you click on export in the format option you get a png or jpg image sequence options so once you export you get all the frames in still images you can 
use this for stop motions for any kind of projects you want next cache management let me show you uh, go to the file tab then preferences in the media cache you get cache management so you can now browse and clear different uh, type of cache memories that have been taking up space on your computer next uh, enhanced editing performance for a smoother experience uh, user custom project templates can now be synced to Filmora Cloud for a backup. So a very important update. You can also improve browsing experience in effects library. So when you are in the effects tab, you can actually browse through in different view modes like large thumbnail, medium thumbnails or small thumbnails but the most interesting one is the list view where you get different tags and uh, you can scroll through and if you click on any of these tags you can also see related other effects which can be used in the project for similar kind of experience so these are the new features on the filmora 12 update that you should be aware of very very important update i think check the description for the ai image and the avatar presentation tools demonstration videos so that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching